Hey guys, it's your girl Sydney and I am back with another video. So first of all, we're gonna do a get ready with me chatting about what it's like to date when you are an adult entertainer and I've gotten so many questions um, from you guys in the past and I figured you know what I'm just I'm not gonna answer the questions but I'm kind of gonna keep them in mind while I talk so first of all I want to say I've only really had two like serious boyfriends and um, <clears throat> one and like the thing about it is when you have like relationships and stuff like those people know you better for the most part than other people do and for me I I guess what I want to say is like one of them I was in the industry while I was dating and the other one was before that and kind of not the reason I got into the industry but uh one of like I got into the industry pretty quickly after we had broken up so that kind of tells you my dating experience before I was in the industry was not that awesome like I would go on dates and stuff but nothing ever came of it I only had two like kind of serious boyfriends and like the relationships didn't even last that long so if that tells you something um that's where we're gonna start this video off and I'm just gonna keep talking I am expecting someone to come over and we're gonna get some work done and stuff in a little bit so like that's why I'm gonna do my makeup and talk to you guys and um answer some questions and I hope that this kind of gives you more insight into my life and other adult entertainers lives and I'm gonna kind of talk about other conversations I've had with fellow girls that make my content so with that being said let's just get into this so first I do want to say that like I feel like there's a big misconception on you know people that create content in the adult industry because there are so many different tiers of content and I do want to say before we get super far into this video I'm probably gonna get demonetized and that's fine um but I want you guys to all know that like I'm not saying that it's a good thing to get into I'm not saying it's a bad thing to get into if you are under 18 uh please click out of this video because I'm just gonna be talking about this stuff and you are not of age to be doing it anyway so anyways there are different tiers in that in the industry and for me I am not on the like tier of, of doing certain acts on camera that some people do and I'm also not on the lowest because clearly I do content with certain people and you know I, I'm not just solo or anything and it's not softcore at that point so if that tells you something like I do make content that's a little controversial but at the same time it's like depending on what people think like I feel like I'm still pretty innocent and vanilla when it comes to this stuff I mean I some people could be like no Cindy or not but I really genuinely feel like I'm not like I'm not as um like as extreme as people assume that we are in the industry because I think people think that like you have to do everything and like there's so many things that I haven't done and um, I started getting back, so the reason I brought this up, like I started getting back into the dating world, right? We all know the dating world is kind of complex as it is, but it just makes it so much harder when you are getting into it and you happen to make content that people are like intrigued by, but then they make you feel like a sexualized object. So I'm kind of going to talk about that too, but um, I feel like for me, like I got into it because and, and I'm really thankful I have and I can't say too much on YouTube and everything but like getting into the industry has actually been a blessing in my life because it's really helped me be a lot more confident in my own body and um, I know that when the right person comes around they're not gonna be insecure which I'm gonna get into in a second um, but I feel like for me it's really taught me a lot about myself and like um, it's made me have to stick up for myself a lot more and um, kind of not take things so personally like I've gotten a lot thicker skin from that and uh, I deal with like a lot of people when I'm back in the dating game that are just buttholes but um, I'm kind of gonna talk about when I was with someone and then know what my situation is now so I've been single now for a while um, I've been mostly single honestly in this industry but I did date someone for a little bit you know 
kind of a serious boyfriend but um this person was so insecure and like they didn't understand like you know when you only have eyes for one person and they still don't see it like it's really disappointing when you're with someone and they can't understand that you don't care about other people like you only want that person and it's kind of sad because it's like no matter what your job is like um you know if you're like the ceo of a big company or something like it's interesting how the double standard is like i feel like people are like oh well you know he just works all day whereas like for me it's like okay well you know if i'm filming with someone like you're the only person i want to be with i'm just in you know blah blah and, and uh so it's been really interesting because like i obviously have people that are male followers and they do comment on my stuff like saying that they want me and stuff but like what they don't like what this person that i'm dating doesn't understand is like i'm not dating them anymore but like what they didn't understand was like why would i want those people when i have you right in front of me like the grass is not greener on the other side right but um it makes the dating world kind of hard because like i did i did experience having a relationship and then i was talking to some other performers and they're like yeah like it's so hard to date because people just don't understand that it's work for them and it's different and it's like you don't have that same connection with the people that you might be like creating some content with whereas like with them you have like a bond a relationship and stuff and like when you get into the dating world like now so i'm gonna kind of shift gears i'm back in the dating world right it is completely shit um because clearly i have to kind of say you know if i'm on a dating app which by the way i'm not on any currently so if you see any they're fake um there's a lot of fake profiles out there because people will say they've matched with me and they'll like dm me and i look them up in my matches and i'm like mm, didn't match with you so i don't know who you're talking to um but it's sad because the dating world is so screwed up like people assume just because you make content like that you are like not a real human or you're a sexual object and stuff and that's what frustrates me because like I went on a date with someone and we went to the dog park okay super wholesome date right and it sucked because it was an awesome date and then the person could not keep their like in their pants their mouth on themselves for like which is like fine sometimes but like if you can't have like a conversation without sexualizing the other person like like am i really a person to you you know what i mean and um it like totally sucked because it was like a really good date and i really saw something with this person like not full-on saw something because it was only the first date but like i was like hey this could probably maybe go somewhere and they seemed pretty cool with my job but then like the moment that like they were like i don't know how to explain it like their needs were like not really needs if that makes sense but they like were like acting like a little bitch because like if you really like someone and respect them then you're not gonna sexualize them and that's one thing that like i did appreciate about the guy that i was dating when i was like in the industry um he like never made me feel like i was an object whereas like now that i'm back dating other people and stuff and like we're not together like i feel like no one makes me feel like i'm an actual person and it sounds just like just stupid because like you're like well Cindy you chose that job well yeah but like I didn't choose to have people not think of me as a person like my friends think of me as a person my family thinks of me as a person hopefully you guys think about me as like being someone real and human but then I go on these dates and like these dudes that literally meet me in real life uh, like they just don't understand the concept of let's respect women let's understand that this could be my sister um let's not try to put our dick inside her in the first date you know what i mean and it's so frustrating because like it could be a really awesome date and it just makes you not want to be to like go out with them again because you're like wow this really sucked because you didn't you know you didn't like make me feel like a person even though the beginning of the date was awesome you know but I'm gonna start probably making more videos like this and when I get back on dating apps like you guys will probably know because I plan on making more posts and stuff because I feel like it's really interesting and I feel like like not enough people talk about it 
I feel like it's kind of taboo and people just assume like oh my gosh if I talk about this like this is gonna suck blah 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 like I'm not gonna tell you what dating apps I use if that makes sense but like I can say um like I used before I got in the industry I used to have really like fun awesome dates on these things and now not so much like like now I just get like people that are like oh my friend knows you blah blah it's like and then I'm like and they're like I heard this about you and the funniest thing about it is when you hear that it just makes me laugh because like I'm like oh so who's your friend and then they say some random person's name and I'm like okay well you clearly don't know me because like this person has no selfies with me which sounds really silly but like even if you have a selfie with me like you're probably still not my friend because I only have like two friends in general but like when it comes down to it it's so annoying because you're just like okay well if you really wanted to get to know me you wouldn't um say oh this person knows me blah blah and like some of them I know have like been like excited to match with me um so they like show a friend and then their friend's like oh she does this and uh, and then it kind of like ruins it because like then they like pretend like they know who I actually am just to be cool but but then they like pretend that they know me so it's like hard to be in the dating game because people just assume because they've seen you in a vulnerable position on the internet that that's like who you are all the time like no sorry I am someone's daughter I definitely still go to family reunions I I do a lot of fun things like with my friends I laugh all the time like I'm a real person and then you get people that are like oh I know who she is I know her I'm I've, I've hung out with her before and you're like really and then it's funny because like obviously you guys know I'm in college still so like you know there might be someone that like recognizes you in a class and then they are they're like oh yeah like I have class with her like I know her and you're like yeah but you've never actually talked to me so do you know me because do you know me or do you know know me or do you know of me because there's a very big difference and I feel like it's really kind of like not helped with the dating stuff because it turns me off like hardcore when someone's like yeah my friend was talking about you and they said this and I'm like okay well like I really don't want to know that because first of all it's not true like there's there was like a rumor going around that's definitely not true which cracks me up where they were like yeah like they said that you had like threw a party and like you know you like hoed around with this person and it just makes me laugh really hard because like if anyone knows me i don't party so um it's funny because like like yeah okay i guess i'll say i went out for one halloween night for asu but i was dd so i didn't do anything and i didn't drink and i didn't like i was just like socializing with people when it comes down to it compared to other people i'm pretty low-key and like don't do anything i have my fun with my friends we laugh in the car we're like super wholesome and stuff and then people like pretend they know me and they're like yeah i saw her at this party she was so fucked up and i'm like hmm, must not have been me because we all know i i'm fun like i'm a social person but i don't do that so clearly you're mistaken but it's really funny when that happens because it's like it paints a picture of like what the person wants to believe you are like it paints a picture of like what um people want you to be and that you know they're like oh i want her to be like this so they start spreading shit and saying shit which is like extra funny because it's like clearly it's not me and anyone who goes on a date with me usually realizes like i'm so goofy and silly and stuff and like i don't I don't care what people think, you know, but, like, it does bother me when people, like, go on a date with me and then, like, you know, say, like, you know, they find out my job after, which is why I just say it ahead of time because I'm, like, I really don't want people to, like, think I'm hiding something because I'm not. But it's annoying when, like, people know about it already and then they act like they don't because it's, like, it's okay. I know you do, like. I'm not upset um, I'm kind of going on a little bit of a rant as I do my makeup but if you get where I'm going with that like it's it's one of those things where it's like hard because you get in the dating game and like dating is hard as it is and the millennial and stuff we have like such shitty dating things because like how many people do you know that use a dating app you know like let's really be real with it like my best friends um, use dating apps and we like will sit and swipe together and then we'll all be talking to the same guy which I'm not down for and neither are they, but like usually I'm the one to like unmatch that person and stop talking first only because like for me, I just, 
it's like not even worth my time trying to even talk to them because like it's a dating app it's stupid you know and um i kind of just i feel like i should probably just focus on being single and i've been focusing on it but i kind of like want to get back on the dating apps but then i also don't want to because i feel like it's like so not healthy for me to be doing um but i don't know i guess i would want your guys' opinion i want to know but i also don't want to get a lot of like stupidity on the comment section because i know people are gonna be like like you chose your job blah, blah blah it's like yeah i chose my job but it you know you never you never choose to be sexualized you know what i mean like that's <laughs> not why i decided to do this job i chose it because i wanted to explore a lot of different things i wanted to be more confident in myself and uh i've always been a sexual person but when someone like over sexualizes me on a date it's a huge turn off like i went on a date and this i i've only had like recently like in the past like few months i've only had like one really good date you guys and the person was so the person was so nice and so sweet and like we have pretty good chemistry but like i don't like to um like sleep around obviously i really can't um i use protection anytime i sleep with someone just fyi guys but um, I just, I can't do that because for me, like, I, I respect the people that I work with so much. <clears throat> and I hope that they do for me. I mean, it seems like they do and we all get tested and stuff. But, like, I want to make sure that, like, I'm in an exclusive relationship with someone. And I know that, like, people that are on dating apps are not exclusive unless they, like, make it very clear that they want to be exclusive. So, for me, I've been pretty, like, <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't had some, some, you know, good fun times in a while so you know that's fun but i'll keep you guys updated on that i just i think it's so funny where my life's at like you'd think that as a being in my place that i do all these crazy things but i feel like i'm pretty innocent like i feel like i don't do that much and i also feel like being on dating apps like it kind of like makes you not want to do all of that if that makes sense like it kind of like di like discourages you from wanting to go out and date because you hear all these stupid things and you're just like where did they even get this from you know but i'm putting on a necklace because i'm gonna try and look okay i don't know i just figured i would pop on here and like start doing more talking videos and like i know a lot of my content is gonna get demonetized my biggest thing is like I just really want you guys to kind of like see what it's like to be in the industry and like know like yeah this is like totally different and new for me I started finally getting back into the gym which is like awesome it makes me feel really good um, but like it's hard because like I, I do film a decent amount and uh, people are probably like how do you not have time to like work out and it's like well like it actually takes a lot out of you when you're filming because like you have to be mentally ready for it I have to like sit around kind of which sounds really weird and like Mentally get in the mood because I never fake stuff. So like when I'm filming like it's me. It's authentic um, But You know I feel like I look decent. This is my outfit let me show you. This is what I'm wearing today. This is my outfit. I hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, I'm gonna put some lip gloss on and I will see you in my next video. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions or anything, go on my Twitter. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, babes.